Hello, the Internet of Things is quite exciting because if you have some uh, smart device or smart electronics and the corresponding uh, software, you can do nearly everything what you uh, can imagine. So during the Christmas days, um, in my mind raised up the idea to do something with the so-called um, AWS uh, dash button or IoT button. So actually I uh, have one um, here and uh, I want to connect this to uh, another IoT device. Um, this is my uh, IoT device. Of course you see it's a, it's a, a mobile phone, an Android mobile phone and this device can take pictures, upload uh, these pictures to a web space and then send an SMS to, uh, to another mobile phone. And to demonstrate this, I will place this um, IoT device um, here um, at the window. And then I will uh, hit the uh, IoT button. It will uh, connect to the internet, update uh, the, vir the virtual shadow of the IoT device and uh, takes a picture and afterwards uh, it will send an SMS to my uh, mobile phone um, and this is now here ok this is uh, copy ignorieren this is uh, the Cortana talking and uh, um, is um, here to show me the um, that I have received an SMS and now here see the, the picture right now from uh, the taking. So stay tuned to see how the technical background is working for this uh, short uh, IoT demo. Now we come to the technical part for my little IoT demonstration and uh, first of all I will show you some uh, core aspects uh, for this uh, demo. I have here my mobile phone and on this um, uh, application is installed, it's called uh, Tamux and um, by this application you are able to run the well-known Node Red Flow Editor, this is a Node.js application locally on this phone and um, while this, um, this application starts up and uh, I will show you on the on the Chrome browser that now there is a Node Red Flow Editor um, possible right within the phone, and uh, yeah, it started, and because I have uh, enabled an and uh, mobile hotspot I'm able to to have this uh, node red um, application also here on my screen and um, for this um, IOT device or let's call it thing IOT thing I have um, set up and installed uh, key pairs um, certificates this was uh, the one uh, thing, the one device. Another device is here, the um, AWS IoT button. Um, this is also um, from the internet and well known. And these both devices are um, configured and uh, set up here in the AWS Web uh, Services console and um, I switch to the IoT hub and here you can see after the page is loaded um, under the registry things um, the IoT button and uh, the mobile phone and every every um, thing has a so-called thing shadow um, which can be updated um, can um, Yes, and you can interact with that and so on. Um, if you 
here I will show you the state. There are two main options, desired and reported. And if, a, if there is a difference between the desired state values and the reported state values, actually here desired is shooting true and reported shooting fails. Um, every time this occurs, um, there is an, um, an, I will show it here, there is a topic it's called shadow update delta and there is automatically a message posted to this uh, topic and so the flow starts to get the device info from the mobile phone takes a picture uploads this to the s3 bucket and uh, then at the end um, yeah at the end sends an sms um, one um, topic I forgot to show is there is a rule configured because um, I'm the the rule uh, means that uh, every time something some message um, is received from the broker on this topic he invokes uh, this uh, lambda function and I will show you this lambda function this lambda function does two things First thing is update the button state itself, the button shadow. Second thing is update the, the uh, shadow for the mobile. And therefore, um, a delta, um, a delta in the state, um, occurred. And so this triggers this flow editor. So I will show you just a quick overview of the lambda function. This is a function written in uh, Node.js and um, is a, a serverless, serverless um, application or serverless code running. And here you see IoT data update things shadow uh, for the button and also update uh, things shadow for the mobile. Here I say state desired shooting true and yeah, we will, we will see if this will work. And uh, we see here the button. I press it, perhaps to see it best. And watch the flowchart. Now it's green, triggered, take picture, and uh, Finally, send an SMS to the other mobile phone. Here's the pop-up. Pop and uh, I will do it uh, again to show and take this one here. Perhaps we now get a better picture. Um, now it's connects. Now it's green triggered. Take a photo is seen on the screen here. Upload done. And we will see if we have a, a new picture here on the Yeah, here it is.